Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to do a video on showing you the difference between male and female flowers on some of your plants. I'm going to be doing a Blue Hubbard uh, squash and I have spaghetti squash and pumpkins and watermelons. So I'm going to show you the differences. Okay, so this is a Blue Hubbard squash. As you can see, here's some of the the fruit. Now I'm going to show you the, fe the male and the female flower. So let's find, there is a male right there. Let me get over there. All right. So, so to tell the difference between the male and female flowers, now the male flowers, see how it's a long stem? And then there's a flower at the top. Oops, I just dropped that one off. So it's on the long stem. Same with these. See how they're on the long stem and there's no fruit on those, right? These are the male flowers. If I open this up, there's the inside of the male flower. And you can also hand pollinate um, anything that you think is not getting pollinated good enough or if there's some, most of the time the bees do it for you. So you could use this to hand pollinate the female. So here's the female. Okay. You see right there? See how it has the fruit on the end? This is the female and this is the female flower, okay? If you open it up, you can tell the difference between the male and the female. See how the female is a different shape? Here's the male. If you wanted to hand pollinate them, you could. But this is the female. The female always has the fruit attached. Just like right there. You see that one? That's a female. And you'll know if your fruit was pollinated if the fruit starts getting bigger and it doesn't turn brown or gross and the flower dies off. Now, I'm going to try to find an example of one that wasn't pollinated because the fruit will turn brownish and start to die off. And some people wonder why, why is that happening because it wasn't pollinated. So let's go over to the spaghetti squash. Okay, here's my spaghetti squash. See this one right here? See how it's long and it's on a tall, looks like a tall vine and there's no fruit on it. This is the male flower. These are male flowers too. Female. There's a female. So it's got the fruit on it. Okay? And those, like this one obviously was pollinated. It's getting bigger. Let me see if I can find an example of one that was not. Alright, I got some squash and zucchini right here. So, there's your males. Okay? This is your female. Right here. And all of these have been pollinated. I know I have some on my pumpkins, so I'll be able to find them, but it's the same thing with these. Male, female. Okay, I have some watermelons here. Let's see. I have one right here. There's no fruit on that, so this is a male flower. And most of the time, you don't need to hand pollinate. This is a, a male also. There's no fruit on it. The bees or other bugs will take care of it for you. But sometimes you can do it if you want to. You can find. Oh, there's a little baby watermelon. See it right there? There it is. That's a male. All right. See this one right here? It's got fruit on it. That's the female. And you can hand pollinate any of these, but I mean, it's not usually necessary unless you're really low on pollinators. I haven't touched any of these watermelons. Let's see if I can find some. What is this? Butternut? 
Okay, let's see what this one is. Male. I don't have any fem females on this yet. It's just taking off. But I do have some on my pumpkins. Let's see. You can find. All right. See this right here? Not the weeds. We're not looking at the weeds. <laughs> This is a female, okay? You can tell by the, the fruit on it. Oh, great, here's an example. All right. You see that one right there? See how it's all wrinkly and looks like it's dying? It's because that one was not pollinated. That one was, okay? So that's gonna fall off and turn brown and come off there because it's no good. Let's see, here's my pumpkin. There's usually more males. See, this is the male. Then there are females because it gives off a lot. See, look at all the male in there. Male flowers. You can see they're really tall and they stick up. They're not usually at the base. The females are at the base. Let's see. Well, that one's flower already came off. Right here. See this one? I don't know if that one was pollinated or not, but this one definitely was. I just found this on the ground. This is a pumpkin, and it was the female, because you see the fruit, and it was not pollinated, so it fell off, okay? It's bad. Here's an example of another one. This one was not, ooh, I barely touched it, it fell off. See? They turn brown and mushy and they fall off if they've not been pollinated. You can just rip those off. All right, I know that was a short video, but a lot of people ask about that, how you can tell the difference between the male and female flower, how you can hand pollinate things. Just rip off the male flower, take it and put it inside the female flower and rub it around. That's really easy and now you know the difference. So thanks for joining me. I'll see you guys next time.